Now, I covered this interview yesterday, but I overlooked a key dimension of it where Keir Starmer lays out his and the left-wing media's narrative with regard to what modern Britain is. Do you think we're a racist country? I don't think we're a racist country. I think we're a country of decent people, tolerant people. The real Britain was the people who came out the day after in Southport. It was incredible. People came out with their trowels, with their brooms, they cleaned up, they rebuilt. They're the real face of Britain. And that's the Britain that I think is essential to reunite it and bringing this country back together. Now, the first interesting thing here is that Keir Starmer thinks the British people are decent because they're quote unquote tolerant. Now, it's an odd thing to call someone decent for. After all, tolerant of what? If you're tolerant of an axe murderer, then that's not good at all. I can only assume that after years of the liberal regime hammering it, he means tolerance, diversity and inclusion. In other words, Keir Starmer is saying that you're a decent moral person if you're pro-woke ideology, if you're pro-mass immigration and if you're pro-multiculturalism, which we all know has failed. And then he goes on to speak about how the people who cleaned up after the Southport riots, which let's be honest, we probably all do if a riot was at the end of our road, are the real face of Britain. Yet what we're seeing here is Starmer utilising the mythology he and his ill created after the riots, the idea that the kind-hearted pro-mass immigration public came out onto the streets to clean up and push back the evil fascists like a 21st century battle of Cable Street. And in doing this, he's purposefully setting up a false dichotomy. On the one side, you have the evil far right, and on the other side, you have the good, moral, multicultural people with good, sensible, left-wing opinions. This latter group, according to Starmer, are the real face of Britain. But the problem is, of course, they're not the real face of Britain. He's completely ignoring the vast swathes of people who are massively concerned about mass immigration, identity, safety in modern Britain and the future, who are anti the riots but also aren't the multi culty lefty types. Now I'd say this is probably the biggest group in the country, yet to Keir Starmer such people don't exist, we're just non-people. And what we're seeing from Starmer and the left-wing media is something like Mao's cultural revolution. He tells us what to think, we're told who we are. We're told in The Guardian by Nezreen Malik today that a Britain proud of its present and realistic about its past is taking shape with the angry right trailing behind. Apparently research shows that the UK public is less nationalistic, less ideological, with its own sense of national pride and a media and political class out of sync. Now it won't surprise you to know that this research was undertaken by the National Centre for Social Research, that's an organisation with a massive left-wing bias. But this is something that organisations like The Guardian do quite a lot. They do some questionable research in which people in the most multicultural and trendy parts of London are asked questions and then they make out that that is the view of the public on the whole. This is why The Guardian has told us over the past year that the British have a positive attitude towards illegal immigrants. We have a positive attitude towards immigration as well. And also, we're not proud of our history anymore. We really don't like Britain. Now, we all know that these aren't the views of average British people. These are the views of trendy London liberals, students who've been brainwashed, and immigrants themselves. Basically, the people who read The Guardian. But going back to the original article, do they really expect us to believe that the public are left-wing and it's the government and the media that are all right-wing? I mean, this is just madness, but this is the narrative they're trying to build. You're a good, decent person if you're a left-winger fighting against the evil right-wing establishment while they expect us not to notice that the establishment is actually them. So, in answer to the question, what is the real face of Britain? In one sense, Britain has many, many different faces. But in another sense, it's ultimately one face. It's our history, it's our tradition, it's our way of life, it's our people. If you remove those things, what you're left with is no longer Britain. You can still call it Britain in the same way that Mike Tyson could don a tutu, call himself Michaela and pretend to be a Russian ballerina, but deep down we all know he's an African-American man. Anyway, these are just some of my thoughts. Do let me know what you think down below and do consider subscribing to the channel.